Hi everyone, today's video is a shop my stash video. I do post these videos every single week here on my channel. So if you are interested in makeup related content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Helps my small channel out a lot. Um, and now we can get into today's video. I just hopped out of the shower. I feel like there's still like makeup residue on me. I need to buy like a cleansing balm or something. <laughs> um but yeah i just have my skincare a lip oil on my hair still wet and i am super exhausted and want to go to sleep so let's get the ball rolling i'm gonna open up my drawer and tell you about all the makeup that we used last week and what i thought of it and then we'll be picking some other items out <sighs> what can i say this is my favorite concealer at the moment um as you guys can see i'm almost like freaking empty out of this bad boy because it's so freaking good doesn't crease underneath my eyes it stays looking hydrated and plump and just smooth and i like this all over the face i conceal with this like my pimples and stuff and sometimes use this as a foundation this mixes in with a lot of other foundations i don't need a lot of foundation when i'm wearing this because everything just looks so nice with this on it so yeah we'll be picking up another one um during uh sephora's next uh vib sell but wanted to shout out that guy loving the primer this is the primer that i've been wearing under every single foundation and um let's see didn't get to use my ultra let's hint foundation uh by chanel so um, this is one that I want to project pan eventually, so I really need to get um, a hold on that one and start panning it. This one got thrown into a project pan, so I'm trying to finish like that guy. And then um, I did end up trying the uh, Lancome Tint I Dole Wear All Over Concealer. I've tried it in the past and thought it was okay. Don't know what I was thinking when I picked this up at Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty sale. So I didn't like this. It's very thin. I had to play a, had to apply a lot and still I wasn't impressed with it. It didn't give me that wow factor that the um, Tower 28 one does. I know my Givenchy one is not high coverage. I have to, you know, build it up to what I like, but this one there's not even a use of building it up so this one's gonna go back in the box so i can return it and um then let's see here let's hop over to this blush really quick it's a nice simple everyday blush this is mac warm soul mineralized blush if you're looking for a good everyday tone this is it um this one's going back into my collection i got a ton of use on that one um, pop over back to foundation. I'm panning this one. As you guys can see, it's almost done and it's super grimy. I'm having to, you see nothing's really coming out. I have to bend it like that, like toothpaste to be able to try to get something out. So I would say two or three more applications and we're done with this guy. So that one's definitely staying in. Shout out my favorite cream blush. It's grimy. And yeah, it is the blush balm by Makeup Revolution. This one's in Savage Coral. Such a pretty pinky shade mm -hmm. it just gives you that like pinched type of look to your cheek so that one's definitely staying in so i can reach for it and i want to show you guys this bronzer but it'll be a spoiler alert for my project pan but just know that i've been loving on this chanel one um i apply it after i apply my elf primer and like i just kind of bronze everywhere that i usually normally like bronze and contourish um situation and then i go over the uh, little spots with just foundation blend it in it's so creamy and good My makeup has been looking dewy and nice um especially after a few hours of it wearing in the powders kind of just kind of melt and like the heat kind of warms everything back up and i look glowy so super super nice product and um i know i've touched on this before but i love this setting spray by e.l.f. It's an all set for fun sun protection setting spray. Doesn't leave any weird splotches or anything like that. I just spray it all over my face. Really push it in with a um, with a powder puff. And it sets my makeup and also provides me with a little bit more SPF. This one has SPF 45. So also wanted to shout that out. And shout out this bronzer. I've been loving looking like an orange Cheeto. Um, while I'm talking, I'll throw up all the makeup looks that I did in the past week. But I just look so tan and gorgeous with this on. 
yummy, 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 yummy bronzer. If you're around my complexion, I know I'm getting a little bit more tan these days. I've been going on leisurely walks, just really taking care of myself. So mm, this one's a good one. If you're looking for a nice bronzer, using this one on my nose, can't show you the inside project pan. And then let's hop over to these blush items. I did use the Essence Evil Queen for a nice little orange moment. And then um, I did use the Lion King one. Oh, right now that I have, we well, can't tell because my hair is kind of wet right now. Because I just got out of the shower. But this right here, it looks so good on ginger. So if you have red hair, um, I know this was limited edition. But just look for a tone like this. Brownie, pinky, orangey. Goodness, it's good. Love that one. These are going back if I didn't mention. I've been further contouring with this bronzer by uh, Milk Makeup. So bronzer situation, I use this to kind of carve out my nose and stuff. Um, this one can stay in. And um, this blush right here in Bichette has uh, got a little bit of use on it. Um, I don't know. I kind of like these more in the winter time. I haven't really reached for it a ton as i've been uh, reaching for this one a lot more so i think i like um stick format for cream blush but i also really like liquid um blushes that have this type of applicator so yeah if i'm gonna do a liquid it has to be like this and i'm crazy about cream blushes that are in stick form i have a lot of them so putting this one back and keeping this one in of course um, I did pull for this the other day, and it's this uh, Moondis eyeshadow. It wasn't in this project. Not, I'm sorry. It wasn't in the shop my stash, but I went ahead and pulled for it. It's so pretty, and I just wore it all over my eyes to give me a glimmery look. Um, I go through phases where I use this for a long time, and then I don't. I know it doesn't look like I, I reach for it a ton, but I've owned this for about a year, and I would say I've worn this over 100 times. So that'll tell you something. And then next we'll start going through the lip liners um, and the products that we used or didn't use. So I feel like now we have a few more cream products to talk about. Lion. Oh, okay. Um, so this melt melt makeup blush I didn't reach for. I was reaching for my Project Pan one, which I also cannot show you, but it's this Mac one and um yeah this one will be perfect for fall so i'll just leave this in for a few months and see if we actually use it when i get tired of it i'll just take it out just because i don't see myself reaching for it in the next week or two but i just want to leave it in to remind myself to use it because it's gorgeous um for fall this is something i want to project pan so that's why i've been having it in here but i reach for a lot of other things over this so i feel like last summer i really reached for that one a lot so i'm just gonna keep it in to remind myself this is what's on my lips. It's a lip oil by um, the In Beauty. I think it's called In Beauty Project. Something. Um, yeah, this is in the shade Mystery Glaze. I also really love this darker one, which is so scrumptious. And these kind of love like a tint behind. I feel like I have like juicy, pinky, ruddy lips um, when I'm not wearing this and it looks gorgeous. Um, so yeah, these lip oils are really, really nice. Um, so I will keep both of these in because I've been loving reaching on though for those. And I'll go ahead and put away my Laneige one because I'm getting I'm getting a lot of use on those. And I feel like I can actually pan these because these are halfway done. And well, this one was laying on the side. You can't really see, but this one has about this much use too. And this one's pretty full. Well, not really. When I hold it up to my light, I can see gaps here and here. But anyways, um, I just want to get more use on these because they're so good. And I'm reaching for them a ton. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one back into my collection. And let's move along. Of course, Project Pan Lip Gloss. Reaching for that every day. for work. And then I'll just take out every lip liner in here. And we'll talk about those. And we'll go over lipsticks because I just... Do not reach for lipsticks. I shouldn't own this many lipsticks when I don't even reach for them. The only reason I'm going to be buying a lipstick is if it's a Gucci lipstick. Especially if they come out with a holiday set this year for like holiday season. I'm getting it. Um, anyways, the Chanel ones in Project Pan. I haven't been using it. 
oak i did use a few times as you can see it's kind of dull and i need to sharpen it so this one can go back it's just a everyday nudie color i just don't like the way it um the longevity it doesn't last at all on my lips so it's unfortunate because mac is not cheap project pan almost done um is this one in a project pan no this one i just threw in um and i really really love it but i want to get use on my project pan one so i'm gonna put this one back and then i believe strip down has been in there for forever going back that may be one that i want a project pan in the future we have this NYX Kitten Heels. I want to keep it in because I've been dying to wear red. I just haven't had a chance to. Uh -oh. Okay, lip liner fell on the floor. We have Cafe, which, again, their formula is not my favorite. I really like a mauve shade in the LA Girl um, line, but that one's going back. Then we have Subculture. I think I'm going to keep this in. It's a very light nude, so when I'm feeling like a bare look, I can just put this on in some lip gloss. I think that will be pretty. And then um, Gucci in a project pan. I never reach for my project pan ones. I gotta reach for these, you guys. So then I will pack lipstick. Um, let's see, that one's in a project pan. Um, this Janet Russ one, so beautiful for fall. Again, colors like these, I'm just gonna leave in for a few months. See how much I use them. Um, when I get tired of them, I'll take them out, so. Um, again, I will swatch Janet Russ just to show you how gorgeous it is. Ugh. Mmm. Fall. Fall in a lipstick, I'm telling you. Um, we have this very nude color. It's called... Okay, got a rhinestone on there. Uh, let's apply this. Make me look cute. Um, this is Icing by Chanel. Just a very nice, smoky pink. Ugh. These don't smell. I wish they had a nicer smell. Well, not that they smell bad, but I just like my stuff to smell scrumptious. Um, this one, it's expensive, but I'm feeling more these tones. So we're gonna put this one back into my collection. I'll pull it out when I'm feeling a really uber nude lip. Um, this one's been in there forever, but it's also very pretty for fall. And I will also leave this in for a few months and see you know, when I use this nude color. Mm, so pretty. This MAC formula is called the Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color. And these are very comfortable and long wearing. So highly recommend if you're looking for a local lipstick that's comfortable. And this is the red that I have in, which is this YSL one. And this, I had an original tube. This isn't my original tube. This is a newer one. I don't know if I got rid of the other one or what happened with it. Um, but I'll give you a swatch and it's such the it's a pretty uh, red and it's pretty long wearing as well so this with the lip liner it'll last all day so we're keeping this one in and um, I really love this nude gloss right here it is just pretty much clear it's called Ro rosy outlook and this is the plumping smoothing nourishing forget the lip filler lip gloss by uh, lawless really love this formula so yeah we're gonna keep it in. It's just like an essential and it's a baby guy. It doesn't take up much space. And if I'm looking for that Bratz look, this is the gloss that I like to use. Um, shout out to the Givenchy powder. Been loving this and I still have like a ton left and I haven't put this down since I purchased it. It is that good. So now that we're done ranting, we're gonna go through all the new stuff that I have, which is pretty much gonna um, fill in everything for this basket so let's go ahead and get started okay so i've been having this in my backup store which is my tower 28 mascara i'm gonna go ahead and throw this in i've been using the rare beauty but as you guys can see like i have like black all over my under eye my eyes kind of irritated in the corner i don't know if that was like mascara that got in there so mm, we're just gonna go back to this this washes off so beautiful it's like a tubing mascara so you're not gonna have that issue so this one is coming out to play and then maybe I'll see if my daughter wants this um, just like regular mascara by Rare Beauty. I like the formula, but it's just, I don't like the way it um, removes. So we'll see if my daughter wants to use that one. And I did pick up the Gucci concealer, which I haven't been a fan of. I'm gonna use it a little bit more to see if there's 
something i like about it but mm, this was like a no for me I have a review up on my tiktok so just follow me at always janelle on tiktok so that'll be our concealer besides my tower 28 baby and i have a lot of mascara samples in here so i'm gonna try out the morphe wink and wow nourishing mascara I haven't heard any reviews or anything like that but i got this for free in an ultra order it's eight grams or 0.28 ounces don't know if that's a full size or not let me take a look at my tower 28 box um yeah 0 0.29 0 0.28 so this does have a lot of mascara in it it's in the shade black i just don't know why the tube is so short um okay so I'm assuming these are both full sizes. I guess the cap is just a little bit longer on this one. This is a miniature of the rare. Okay. All right, so we'll try these two. Well, I, I love this one. We're trying this one out and I'll let you know my thoughts on that one. We have plenty of more mascara in there, but we're just not pulling for all those. Um, for foundation, oh, I do have a primer as well. Um, in a Sephora order, I did get this Bare Minerals Primetime Original Pore Priming, Pore Minimizing Primer Base. So I think these were on sale on Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, but I didn't pick it up because I don't like wasting my money on primer much. But I got a free sample of this, so we'll use this one out. Use this one out. Try this one out. Um, I want to smell it. I like when products smell, like, good. It makes it experience all the better okay looks like it's gonna be silicone which i don't like i always have a bad makeup day i guess since i use like a lot of water-based products doesn't smell like anything but here it is here i don't think i'm gonna like this i may just pass this primer along i don't know if i'm bored i'll try it out one day but mm, i don't know i'm just gonna go ahead and throw this into my drawer and I'll update you guys if I end up using that one or not. But um, I did pick up the Glossy A. Um, this is the Stretch Fluid Foundation. This really reminds me of the Tower 28 concealer. Um, this kind of like goes a long way, it spreads. Like it says uh, stretch or whatever. So yeah, I really like the pink packaging. And I went with shade light one. Um, but I pretty much used every sample on that sample card except the two deepest shades, which were just too dark for me. But all the lighter shades, I used them. And it looks kind of separated right there. I'm going to give it a good shake. So this is what the shade looks like. I think the match is going to be okay. I don't remember what shade numbers came on the card. I want to say it was a one or something. Um, so yeah, this one's described um it just says light one okay comes with a pump it's a glass bottle feels substantial i just don't like that you're getting fingerprints it doesn't really stay clean for long but i already know i like this foundation because i use so much of the little sample cards um so yeah this will be our foundation for the week and we have lots of more goodies um for concealer we can also bring in the Too Faced Born This Way um, Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I got mine in the shade Almond. I used to be head over heels crazy in love with this uh, concealer by Too Faced. But they are just doing some shady shit. And now that they sold the practice, I feel a little bit more comfortable. Did I say practice? Oh my god, I'm so used to working at work all day. Um, now that they sold uh, their company... I don't remember the one looking like that that this is different i could have sworn this was black and the doe foot applicator was huger but um yeah we're just going to use this one and it looks a little too deep for me that looks like you'd be a foundation shade i wish i would have went a little bit lighter um i think i used to use it was like white beige or something this is an almond i think it was described as like a golden tone light color but that's a little more medium for my skin tone um but again i love the way this sits under the eye it doesn't um, emphasize any dryness or makes my eye, under eye crease or anything crazy and this bottle looks smaller how much is in here it used to be 0.50 
oh, they lowered it. This is 0.45 fluid ounces. So it's not 0.50, it's not big anymore. Hmm, okay. Anyways, we will use this under our eye along with the Gucci concealer. Um, I'm just about ready to give up on that Gucci concealer. I do not like the way it sat under my eye. Um, we have lots of cheek and lip products from Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, so let's grab some of those. We have these um, Man Eater blush thingies from Tarte, and I picked up a whole bunch of other blushes, but we're gonna probably use those next time. So we have this one called Deep Buff. Just because these looked a little sheer, um, I was looking these up on TikTok to see how they look on people's cheeks. So I, th I thought that color would be perfect with my hair and for fall. I'm just loving these rusty, like, leaf type of tones, like brown leaves. Um, and I heard this is super glowy and pretty on the cheek. So I picked up a deeper shade to, you know, really be able to see it on the cheek. And these things are huge. How much is in these? These are 0.27 fluid ounces or point, um, or 8 ml, sorry. Let's see how much my favorite cream blush at the moment has in it. This liquid blush has, do, 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 do. I don't see anything on here. I don't have my glasses on either. I'll pop it up on the screen if I can find something. Um, this MAC blush has 0.25 ounces or 7.3. Um, yeah, so as much product is in this cream blush compact is in this liquid one. I don't know if that's a good comparison since one's liquid and one's cream. But yeah, I like the freaking leopard print. I have leopard print tattooed on me all across my back and on my neck. But anywho, this is very like 2014, <laughs> 15. But I like the color, so yeah. It looks like it's starting to dry down a little bit. They kind of smell like, I don't know if it's vanilla or... Okay, it kind of smells citrusy now. It smells like chart, chart. Oh my god, tart shape tape, um, vitamin C, orangey smelling. But on my hand, I got a whiff of vanilla, but it could be any of these other things. Swatch. So I digress. I'm just like ranting right now. This is the um, blush and glow in the shade strawberry. You know that strawberry moment is all the trend right now. So we're gonna give this shade a shot. Okay, mm, I think that's gonna look super cute. Again, I wanted to buy things that were out of my comfort zone. Uh, worth, is it worthwhile? Worth wild? What is that saying? Just because I have a lot of nudes, I have, you know, all the safe colors. Ooh, it's like a pinky, mm, pinky red. I like that. And I think this has that same vitamin C smell. Okay, I'm excited to try these two shades. These are so pretty. So these are going to be the two cream blushes that I want to throw in this week. Next week we're definitely going to be for a lot more. Um, let's see. I have some powder blushes. Let's talk about those real quick. Let's see. I did pick up two Kylie blushes right here. Um, one is in the shade 335 Batty on the Block. I think um, Taisha here on YouTube uses this one um, a lot, or at least she did back in the day. Um, I haven't watched one of her videos in a few months, but okay, a little chunky packaging. I wish it was thinner. Um, I think she had cardboard packaging before. Okay. This is what the shade looks like. It's like a corally orange peach. It doesn't smell like anything. I like the pink aesthetic, super cute. Let's swatch it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like that, it's like a peachy pink. It's almost like the shade that my cheek is na naturally. Do you see that color? My nose is even that color. That's cute. I think it will look good with the strawberry blush underneath it or by itself. So, Betty on the block. I'm definitely going to be 
Betty on the block, like Jenny on the block. Okay. okay. Um, my friend used to call me Jenny. Um, I don't know. It would be Jenny because J A N, not J E N. So <gasps> the lips. That's so cute. I like all the cute touches. And this is in 336 Winter Kiss. This is the viral shade that everybody. Um, oh my god, it's dirty. I don't know why it's dirty. Oh, I hope it's not shattered. When everybody thought that she was wearing the Dior blush, so <gasps> it is. I'm so mad. Okay, I'm gonna have to email customer service from Ulta. This sucks. It came to me shattered. I'm going to use it anyways. And hopefully it's not sold out so I can get a new one. Or if it's sold out, I can at least get my money back and I'll just repress this. And I do have the Dior blush to kind of compare. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. So let me, hold on. I thought I smelled something for a second. I'm going to put that to the side. I'm not going to put it in my drawer just because I don't want um, residue everywhere. And then I have my Dior blush somewhere in here. Okay, here's my Dior blush. I'm panning this in my year-long project pan. And this is what this shade looks like. And I'll swatch it underneath the Dior one. I'm sorry, the Kylie one. Okay. So they're pretty much almost identical. I feel like this one has a little bit more color to it. This one's a little bit more ashier. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty much identical. Bad swatching. Um, so that's cool. And then we have tons of lippies. And we will do more cream blush next time. So I picked up a lot of these um, lippies from Juvia's Place. So let's take the shrink wrap off of these. These are the Lux um, liners. And this one's in the shade So Rare, which I think is one of their best sellers. I see a lot of um, TikTokers and influencers using this shade. So I think this is one of their top sellers. Um, so I'm curious to see what this shade looks like. And I kind of went crazy. I wanted to buy, I literally had everything in my cart that they sold for lips. This is what the shade looks like. Um, but then I decided against it. Ooh, a nice chocolatey brown. Um, and just was like, okay, what if I don't like these lip liners or lip glosses or lipsticks? So I went ahead and just chose like my three favorite colors. This one's in the shade chocolate. And I decided against and just chose three of the lip liners to start with. And if I really love the formula, then I can go back and buy more. This is what the point looks like. And I feel like this one's gonna be like almost black, which is kind of what I'm going for. And I'm right. That with like some gloss. Oof. That's gonna be like a badass look. So happy that I got this one inch. Oh, this is not chocolate. It's called Coco Latte. Okay, Coco Latte. We're gonna get some Coco Latte in our life. The last one is in the shade Coffee Bean, which I think I was unsure about this one because I didn't want it to be like a red tone brown. I like a cool tone brown or like a neutral brown or like, you know, I don't want it to just look be too, I don't want it to be too warm. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm hoping this color matches the inside. And again, this looks like it's going to be like almost black on me, which is a cute look. Okay, no, it's like a cooler tone brown. Okay, it's this one right here. Uh-huh, this is the most neutral one. And this one's like a cooler tone one. This is almost black on me. So this is going to be interesting. I'm excited to try out Coffee Bean. I wasn't done yet, okay? I had to pick up the lip oil and at least two glosses, okay? I narrowed it down to two. There was like... 10 in my freaking cart so don't judge me this is their lip oil and watermelon so yeah the doe foot oh hold on a some more moment no okay so the doe foot applicator this looks nice this looks plushy i want to apply some but i have on the in beauty one mm, i don't know 
the scent I thought would be better. It almost smells like banana, which I'm not a fan of like artificial banana scent. So there's the lip oil right there. I believe these were like $5 because I think these are like $10 full price. So I'm hoping I like that one. If not, I just wasted $5. And then we have these two glosses, which look at how nude and pretty those are. And of course, these are two different nudes. Don't tell me that they're the same. This one looks more like a cooler um, brown and this one looks like a pinkier brown color. So this one's in the shade Dolce Latte and this is part of their coffee shop um, collection. And this other one is Barely There and I believe it's just part of their regular gloss line in this packaging. Okay, so let's take the shrink wrap off of these. And I really like the, like it looks tribally on there. It's cute, like the pattern is really cute. Um, and I believe these were like $14 originally, I wanna say, and I paid like seven or something like that. Um, and I do feel like Juvia's Place is a little bit more expensive um, than like the other drugstore brands um that are available in ulta so it's up there with nyx and i don't love everything from nyx there's only like a few items so yeah like i've been really wanting to try out their blush formula um from juvia's place like the double-sided um blush duos and their cream blushes that look similar to the um makeup revolution ones but the makeup revolution ones are cheap and are really really good on the skin so i don't really have a need to want to spend like 20 plus bucks for a blush or however much they cost and then their cream bronzer i think is like a dupe for like the nars product cream bronzer so there's some things i'm interested in it's just the price point kind of steers me away and i haven't been impressed with like their eyeshadow formula in the past so that's why i don't buy from them so i'm curious to see if they're um lip stuff blows me out of the water so we're gonna swatch barely there okay i like i like when the, it's when it's in here and it starts making noise and i think it's gonna be a big pop in it's not not satisfying the applicator looks good all right we're gonna make a little room for you okay so that's like a peachy pigmented gloss don't know if i'm gonna love that maybe this is one that i could have left out of my cart and this one looks like it's gonna be my best friend. So, Dulce Latte. That made a good noise. Hmm, it does smell like a caramel latte. The applicator is very skinny on this one. Reminds me of the NYX. Um, this is Milky Gloss. So let's swatch this one. Yep, this is it. I could have just went with only this. Or maybe I should have got more from their their coffee line because this is so pretty. It is right here. It's so sheer, almost blending in with my skin. Oh, so pretty. And I think there's like very small reflex in there. Let me see if I can bring my tube closer. It looks just like creamy. I don't think you're going to be able to detect the small shimmers in there. But that looks so gorgeous. <laughs> okay, it's right there this one right there mm -hmm. that is my jam okay i should have just not ordered this one and only went with this one you live and you learn i'm not done yet i picked up this lipstick and it came let me show you some of the packaging um this one is barely there packaging how cute this was the lip oil packaging so pretty and i think this packaging right here is this one it's in the shade nubian sand their packaging so pretty so is this um bullet okay it just feels a little lightweight like it's given huda beauty but not huda beauty price point um but look at the texture on this okay this looks like it's gonna be a little too dark for me i wish i i don't know if there was a lighter shade but i wish I would have went with something lighter if there is an available shade. I'm gonna swatch this right here. It feels a little loose in the tube, so don't scroll it all the way up like I just did. Um, it's pretty, I guess. 
I just like concealer lips. I don't know. I'll let you know if I like the formula. I just pinched my finger. Um, I think that's all I'm going to pull out of this drawer or else I have too many options. We're not going to pull anything from back there. Um, as far as eyeshadow, I've been really loving Modern Renaissance. Especially this red ochre shade. I've been throwing that in my brows. I need to re-dye my brows because they're not vibrant. And my black eyebrows are coming through. Um, really been loving my Natasha Denona Biba palette for just like to lay the groundwork. So basically I don't need the Tanessa Myricks palette. Um, and then just reaching for any Pat McGrath shadow. I still have Divine Rose in there. So... I'll just give myself the liberty to go back there and pick eyeshadow palette if I need it. Otherwise, I'm just going to play with all these goodies. So that was everything for the Shop My Stash. I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing me swatch and play with these newer ones. I'll give you some mini details um, whenever I see you next. But other than that, have a beautiful day or night wherever you are. Take care.